Now, I know when you started the company uh, Beyond Clean that the focus was on the sterile processing area. How did that come about? And then talk about the evolution into the other podcast that you host that you mentioned as well. Yeah, so what's really great, if you go to beyondclean.net, you'll actually be able to see our story. My co-founder, Hank Balch, um, was actually, had just run for the uh, presidency of Isham, now HSPA. Um, he didn't win. Um, it was a pretty high-profile election, and I'll leave it at that. But coming on the heels of that, you know, he had done a lot of work to cultivate an audience on social media. And if you go to LinkedIn and just, you know, search hashtag sterile processing or hashtag SPD, you'll see that there is an incredibly engaged community of sterile processing professionals there. I decided uh, at that point, as I was talking about having been an entrepreneur, that I really should start looking at starting a podcast, especially in sterile processing, because that's where my experience base was, even as an sure. educator and a sales representative. And somebody I worked with at the time said, you should, you, are you following Hank Balch? He's got a really unique message, um, really engaging on, on LinkedIn. And so I went and looked him up. And the next time I, I saw that coworker, I said, you know, you're right. He's, he's amazing. I said, you know, if I was going to start a podcast with somebody, that's who I'd want to do it with somebody who already had an audience. And he said, you should do it. You should do it. And so I think it was like 1230 at night. I reached out to, to Hank on LinkedIn and sent him a message. We started that podcast and we didn't meet until nine months later at the first HSP or Isham annual conference that spring. And we had, we had started recording in August the prior year. So uh, that's how it took off. He said yes. And then from there, um, the brand really you know built quickly. We weren't uh, building it initially for any other reason than you know, to help create awareness for Hank and his budding uh, consulting business. And then myself uh, just wanted to take my regional presence and make it more of a national presence. Um, we realized over time that there was a lot of opportunities. Hank was building two different media brands. And he said, what if I just take my consulting business and put it under Beyond Clean? I was like, no problems here. You know, no point to, to you know, duplicating your effort. So we wrapped it up underneath that. And honestly, as far as hospital consulting goes, Hank's done not a lot of that since then. Um, we've consulted a lot on social media strategy, content creation. We create content for our partners. Um, I mentioned the virtual conferences, um, lots of other things, so CE approved content. So really with that educational focus, even when we create content on social media, you know, it's not meant to be pitchy. It's meant to pro always provide more value to the audience than we're asking them to give, um, especially when it comes to listening to the podcast or, or contributing to social media content or attending a conference. So that's where it kind of took off.